Guys, no matter where in the country you're watching this today, you're watching a baseball kid's dreams. And all baseball kids know, the baseball kid in you never dies. These are Southwest Florida's fields of dreams. Welcome to Zoe Flow Life. This is Danielle Meaty. As you can imagine, little Danielle with three boys in the house, one of them being her husband. She tries to keep things under control. Just a few rules, like no ball in the house. So I have the rule. I have, I have a lot of rules, nobody listens. <laughs> in the living room, outside, baseball, football, little ball, fluffy ball. Yeah, hole, holes in the walls. Like so many Southwest Florida families, Danielle's is a baseball family. Starts with my husband, he played professionally for several years and my boys picked up a love for it and yes, we eat, sleep and drink it. Danielle and her boys live in baseball heaven. Year-round baseball, countless leagues, always a game to catch, rarely if ever a rain out. And living in Southwest Cape Coral, they're within one hour of four, four major league spring training facilities. And they have beautiful, and beautiful parks. It's just, they really, nice job with every, every one of them. There's something about preseason games. It's all brand new, springtime, another season. So much energy in the air. Will this be my team's year? And it's all happening in this cozy little stadium. Well, usually when, when you get there, there, there's stuff outside, you know, food, drinks, and music playing, and you know, it's, it's not this big, huge stadium that you're just a spectator. You're, you're there, you're involved. I feel like you're on the field. Even adults, you know, there's sometimes, like, you see older men fighting for the ball. <laughs> And they catch it, you think they're in the World Series. It's actually really cool. And it's not just preseason games that are played here. It's also spring training. Scott Kelsey, who produces Soy Flow Life with me, also a little bit of a baseball freak, took me to see spring training, which takes place behind the stadiums and the training facilities. The first thing my kids eye is the players. Where are we going to go? How are we going to get some autographs? How are we going to catch some balls? I mean, you think they've never seen a ball in their life. Once they get a ball, it's like, I got a ball. And then, we, you know, they're walking home with a bag full of balls. The way spring training is set up, it's genius. Fans and the players share the exact same common areas. So while practice is going on, you're there in the same areas walking around with the players. This is a baseball kid's dream. See where the players are, where they're signing, get down there and you know try meeting some, take some pictures and it's a more cozy atmosphere, you know, it's just on a smaller scale. You're right there, you're with the players, you're part of the action. And it's not just a dream for those kids. Last week we were the first ones there on the very first day for the 2022 baseball season. So for many of these players, it was their very first time they'd ever been rushed by kids for autographs. This is their dream too. When you love something, a sport so much, and they get to talk to somebody or someone pays attention to them, it's like their faces light up. It's, it's, it's actually really cool. We're surrounded by baseball teams and youth sports and high school and college and you know, professional, it's, it's all around us in this area. You can't find a better area for baseball lovers to, it's like a baseball heaven here. I do, I do love it. I mean, they love it a lot more than I do. 